Hello, this is a presentation of APM CAD to CAM and this is part one. The contents of part one include what is APM? What technologies does APM utilize and their benefits? An example products processed via APM and a presentation of APM for the production of a simple assembly. We'll then be processing a CSV file from APM to CAD to CAM for nested base manufacturing and then we'll do some machine simulation within AlphaCAM. What is APM? It is automated parametric manufacturing. What technologies does APM utilize? Well, they are constraints and machining styles. Constraints are used to create a parametric parts and or parametric assemblies. And machining styles to apply proven machining data such as feed speeds, spindle speeds, depth of cut, and operation order. Some of the benefits of constraints and machining styles include your knowledge pool. You input the data once, thus reducing errors. We'll only ever create one constraint drawing. This will de-skill the process and guarantee repeatability. If we use the correct machining style, we ensure that we got the correct feeds and speeds and depth of cut and spindle speeds. This will help reduce machine collisions and very importantly, protects your capital investment. We'll just run through a few example products that have been processed by some of our customers using APM. You have families of single components such as MDF doors. This can be used for bedroom, bathroom or kitchens. We also have customers who are using APM to produce simple assemblies. Including shelving units and other furniture assemblies such as tables. Fittings can be applied to parametric assemblies and single components. And fittings include things like hinges, locks, handles, any fixed machining. We'll show you how APM can be used for the production of this simple assembly. It's a constrained assembly. All the dimensions are internal. The component sizes are determined by the material thickness due to the bending radii on the sides and the returns. We'll create an order and within that order the process order variables include the quantities, the depth of the assembly, its height, its material thickness, its width and the returns. Within APM we create a master assembly and then three subcomponents and APM automatically explodes this into the three subcomponents. Driven by three constrained drawings, these have already been developed to flat to ensure we have the overall correct size of each subcomponent. APM will create an order working to the input variables. It will apply automatically machining styles to produce the correct toolpaths in the correct order and it will output a CSV file to allow us to do nested based manufacturing using CAD to CAM. Within AlphaCAM we'll select APM processing. We'll see we have our simple assembly and the subcomponents underneath base and ends left and right side. We select the orders tab, create a new order, we'll call this simple assembly and we'll 
come back to our library, right click on the simple assembly, add to the production queue, maybe we want five of those, 500 by 300, we'll add, we'll change the width to 400, change the height to 200, with those, we'll maybe change the returns on these to 70, up the size to 600, add and done, we right click, we're now ready to run production. We right click and run production. APM applies all the toolpaths using the machining styles to constrain drawings and explodes them. However, we need to use CAD to CAM if we wish to nest for nested base manufacturing. And for this, we use the CSV file that's been generated by APM. Selecting CAD to CAM from within AlphaCAM, we then go and select the correct CSV file that's under APM results. and load this into APM. We see there we have the quantities and the material thickness has also come across. Under options, we can change the sheet size if we wish. We'll continue with the one that we have. This has created three nested sheets. We'll load sheet one. Next, we'll open the machine. Ready for simulation. And we'll select send to simulator. And press play. Drill in the holes first and then routing out all the individual components. It's easy to come back into APM and modify this order. We'll load that back to the production queue. We'll come back into our library, select our simple assembly, and we'll add maybe seven, 300 by 300. Add, done, and we'll run production. Back into CAD to CAM, reload our simple assembly CSV, we'll see we've got the extra three boxes on the end there, and it will go away and now probably produce a further nested sheet. And we can see now that it's created these four nested sheets. Using constraints and machining styles within APM, we're able to produce this simple assembly and then combined with CAD to CAM to produce nested sheet NC programs for nested base manufacturing, including reports and labels. Thank you for your attention. This concludes the APM to CAD to CAM part one presentation.